Family, in the name of Almighty God, the beneficent, the merciful, I bear witness that regardless to land, label, or language, there is but one God. I bear witness that regardless to creed, class, or color, there is but one God. We are here today to support our sister Rochelle Wilson. I'm honored to be a part of this program, family, history in the making. To be sure, this event today started with a conversation between a mother advocating for a son and a brother who advocates for you. As I serve as the youth on the youth ministry here at Muhammad Smiles number 35, I was out on a corner on Vanderbilt Market, and I met my beautiful sister who I met many times, and as we were sharing, she lamented over the fact that it didn't appear as though she had the support from the community to advocate for her son as she should. I'm not going to bore you with the details of our conversation, but I, I, in a nutshell, said to her sister, more people need to know about your issue. Yes, sir. I said, sister, you need to take this around the city because you've done so much for us. Mm -hmm. And she said, well, Brother John, where should I start? I said, why not at the mosque? Right. Ask Minister Robert. I'm sure he would oblige. Right. So we're here today because of the germ of that conversation. And we're thankful, first of all, to Student Minister Robert and his staff for having to not bother to open up this door and let's give them a round of applause. Brothers and sisters, real quickly, racial inequality is evident in every stage of the criminal justice system. From policing to the prosecutorial decisions to the pretrial release processes to sentencing to correctional discipline, and even into re-entry, the racism is inherent in the criminal justice system. That's right. This racism and mass incarceration affects children as well as adults and is often especially punishing for people of color who are also marginalized along lines as gender and class. Right now, brothers and sisters, according to the reports in 2020, we have over 420,000 black people in prison. And in 12 states, more than half the prison population is black. 12 states. Those states include Alabama, Georgia, Illinois, Louisiana, Maryland, Michigan, Mississippi, New Jersey, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and good old Delaware. Mm -hmm. According to the Department of Justice, National Institute of Justice report, in America, and in terms of men, one, start with white men, one out of every 106 white men are in prison. Hispanics, one in every 36 Hispanics. Black men between the ages of 18 and up, one in 15. Oh and even smaller black men from the ages of 20 to 34, one in nine. Oh my God. We make up only 12% of the population, but nearly 37% of the prison population. Let's go to Delaware. Delaware has an incarceration rate of 631 per 100,000 people. That includes prisons, jails, immigration detention, and juvenile justice facilities meaning that it locks up a higher percentage of its people than almost any democracy on earth. This, what you see here, y'all, is the United States first, then Delaware and Orange, and then New England, Portugal, Canada, France, and all those other countries on here. I'll say again, Delaware locks up a higher percentage of its people than almost all democracies on earth except the sister country that she comes from. What about Delaware? Delaware has 7,100 people behind bars. That's 6,400 in state prison, about 470 in federal, and youth, 160. Of those 7,100 people locked up behind bars, 60% are black. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, why are we here today? Why advocate for our beloved brother Justice? The Quran says if God were to punish man for his sins, right. not one soul That's would be left right. alive on the earth. You may ask why uh, uh, advocate justice for our brother? We're in the holy month of Ramadan as Muslims, is that right? right? And we're in the season, the first 10 days is the days of forgiveness. Right. Now we're in the days of forgiveness. Uh, uh, mercy, the first 10, the right. second 10 is forgiveness. 
that's where we're in right now. Right. What better time to advocate for those who need our help than the time when we're asking forgiveness from God? Is that right? Yes, he said to us, well, why advocate for justice for Justin? Well, on the back page of the final call, point number five of what the Muslims want. It says we want all black men who believe in Islam to be out of federal prison. Right. But wait a minute, is my brother Muslim? No, the final call doesn't say Muslim. It says black men believe in Islam. Right. Islam is obedience to God. Well, you know, our brother believes in God. His right. mother believes in God. We demand that he be released as well as everybody else. Right. 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 Oh, right. You have to ask yourself, why advocate for justice? Because our sister advocates for us. Right. Right. Sister Michelle bears her soul every week. Her soul and her passion every week on the radio bring it to attention of her listeners the issues that affect us. Right. You say why? Why support our sister? Because guess what? It's Rochelle now. Right. But it's your son, right. your nephew, right. your father, That's right. your cousin Lex. That's right. And I conclude with these words from the book of Psalms, the 127th chapter, the third to the fifth verse. It says, Children are a heritage from the Lord. Offspring. A reward from him. Come on. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are children born in one shoe. Blessed is the man and woman who quiver is full of them. They will not be put to shame when they contend with their opponents in court. Please. We intend to contend with our opponents in court That's and right. advocate for our sister. We love her, we love her family, and we love the fight. Thank you for listening. That's it. I'm going to And this time, as we continue with our program, I want to bring to another, to this roster, a sister who is a power in her own right. We'll be talking about a struggle for her in her own right, but she's here to advocate as well. Please help me receive to the microphone a beautiful, beautiful, powerful sister. If you always want to get some kosher halal food, you can always go down to the riverfront to Drop Squad Kitchen. Is that right? <laughs> Keeping the legacy of her family going. Give our beloved sister a round of applause. Sister of Child. And to the microphone. Let's give it up for Sister Abundance. 